Hi, welcome to Beer Engineers. I'm Emmett. Today I've got a beer I'm kind of looking forward to. It's Serps from Beak. An 8% Dippa. Double IPA. Haven't had Beak in a while. I do like Beak. Um, this has been very kindly donated by Nick. Cheers, Nick. Cheers, bud. Um, so, I'm looking forward to trying this. I think Nick's going to do a review of this as well, so we might probably release at the same time sort of thing just to compare tastes um <clears throat> looking at it it's got galaxy and mosaic gonna be dank i think let's see serps what does serp stand for doesn't say anyway been a while a big last time i haven't really liked it from what i remember so Let's get into it, see what the story is, shall we? Oh yeah, that looks good. Getting excited already, check that in. Oh. I'm getting a nose from when it opened. Um, that is solid. That's like, you know, it's sort of like a, a dull... Dull yellow, dull, yeah, dull yellow, basically. It's like a sort of off yellow, mucky yellow, is what I'd probably say. Head, decent enough. Looks nice and solid. Nose on it. Oh, that's what I, yeah. That smells nice. It is. There's dankness definitely there. Sit. I'm getting sort of. Is that citrus or is it? No, it's kind of more melon. Melon to grapefruity type. That's what I'm getting out of it. Possibly hit the peach as well. With dankness there as well. So, let's see what it tastes like. Cilantro. I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. Good body, almost creamy, almost creamy in texture. It's quite a rounded taste. Um, I'm getting. Sort of melon with a hint of citrus. Not much bitterness. What's that background? I suppose it's sort of like a... I suppose we'd call that dank, a dank taste. It's like a... So nice. No hint of eight percent either. Alcohol wise, not a not an iota of taste off it. I suppose a little bit of heat at like coming down the throat after us, but well disguised with the sort of after bitterness is it, I suppose I'd call it bitterness. It's not out and out bitter. It's just like a, a smorgas not a smorgasbord. No, it's like a load of like sort of Different sort of melon, fruit, stone fruit, all mashed together nearly to make one overarching taste. There's no real outstanding taste that I can grab out of it to be, oh, that's peach, that's that, you know, that sort of thing. It's, it's good. That's what I'm going to say. It's very good. Maybe a hint of orange there as well. This is, each time I taste them, I almost taste them. It's it's on the edge of a lot of different flavors, I think, because there's a lot of different a lot of different tastes in there. Maybe a bit of pine, maybe. Yeah, good. I like that. Peak serps. Eight percent. You wouldn't know it's eight percent. Danger juice. I would call that because it's quite quaffable as well. 
that is the kind of thing that could get a man or a woman or whatever into trouble. I think too many of them, and you could quite easily drink too many of them. Lovely, lovely, lovely. For me, I'm giving that. I'm going to go for eight, almost eight and a half with that one. To be honest, that's that's right down my street. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah, go for it. Love it. Really nice. Eight and a half. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with eight and a half. Eight, eight and a half. If I could give it eight and a half, why not? Right, so that's my review of Beaks. I'd be very interested to see what Nick thinks of this one. Of uh, Beaks Serps. Right. Catch you next time.